So uh, we've got a special guest on for Lupia today. And, uh, I think a lot of you are, are going to... I'm a salty are, lass! <laughs> she's a salty lass. Do you want to introduce yourself for the people who don't know you? Yeah, I'm Gaina and uh, our channel is uh, Sailing Yacht Salty Lass. Um, when we were last in Oban, they uh, misheard us. So uh, they thought it was salty ass, but we own that one as well. <laughs> Brilliant. So uh, yesterday, uh, Dom on board, who, who we've got on board with us, he, he was one of the people who answered to the video that we put on, uh, was talking about, because uh, 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 put a, a link to Salty Lass's channel, and he said, I've been watching them, and they're absolutely brilliant. So Jen checks out uh, where they are, and we didn't even know they were in Scotland, and they happened to be like two miles astern of us. Yeah, so, so excited. We... Like, there they are, they're behind us. <laughs> so, yeah. We, so we, we met up with them today, uh, just had a coffee and that, and uh, we're going to set off in a bit. And I think somebody's going to go and view one of the clippers later on. Well, that's the plan. Uh, I mean, say so I put on Bevy's uh, clipper hat just so that I can uh, do a bit of uh, smoothing. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Five years, I need a bit of break from them. Uh, the other one are all, yeah, on my laptop right, so. So I've had some problems over the past couple of days. Uh, I don't know, filter change, a fuel filter change on the engine. It's in there. Um, got a load of uh, air in the system, so I started bleeding it through the injectors. And done it sort of the way that I've seen other people doing it on YouTube and stuff, and it ends up rounding off the bolt going in the top of the uh, injector, which no bolts being up in the Highlands. Uh, no way around here, so I was lucky enough an um, uh, engineer who came out sorted it out. And then, as soon as I got sailing, uh, as soon as I got working, off we went. So we stayed in um, Loch, I uh, can't remember, I stayed in some Loch last night and then uh, sailed along this morning and I seen the bilge pump kicking, it looked like a bit of fuel coming out or oil coming out the back. So I switched the fuel pump off straight away and then. Uh, once I got alongside, I started investigating. You can see here, it ends up ripping all that from here. So, you can see the mess I've made down there. So, what happens is on this corner along the bottom, um, we've there's I think it's the welds are the same as the top of this, it's just somehow sprung the leak. So obviously our fuel tanks on the way out. But our problem at the minute is I topped it up the other day and we haven't actually done that much motoring. So I've used some epoxy and then some uh, of they're trying to stick some of this stuff over the top of it. And uh, everything I've been trying, you just, you just see it just because it, it just doesn't harden properly because obviously it's got a hole in it. It's got fuel coming out, but is it just put my hands there? Oh, you can see that, yeah. You still, still, you still see fuel coming out, so try that. But Jen and Zom have gone out, it's, it's like six or seven o'clock at night now, so there's no way it's going to be open. But they've gone out to find, see if we can find some tubs. There's the stuff we're using, we're using the right stuff, but obviously, it's not drying because uh, the diesel's still coming through, so. We're going to have to empty that into many containers. So that's going to be a fun job over the next couple of days. So we've used marine poxy, we've used uh, 
I've had about five different things. Yeah, I've had uh, about five different things. And it's it's get, get quite hard now. So I think the next job is going to be to empty the tank and try and fix it that way. It's going to be a nightmare to try and get the tank completely out. But we're going to have to try something. Uh, these, disconnect these, disconnect that. Try and move these wires out the way. Disconnect a lot of things. And then I can unscrew uh, these bolts. And then oh, possibly... Uh, take some out for the amount of tubs that we find, maybe give 50 to 100 litres away and then lift the tank up, uh, up this angle so all the fuel slow, uh, goes down that way and then hopefully it'll dry off and this stuff will work if there wasn't a drip coming out, it'll seal it but because there's constant drips coming through, it's just, it's just stopping it drying So the little uh, epoxy stuff we used before, it uh, didn't work because of the diesel dripping through, it just wouldn't stick. So now what we're doing is filling the uh, jelly cans up, we've got some down there, some here. And then when we run out of tubs, we knock next door and ask that they want some diesel. They're more than happy to uh, get free diesel. Uh, so we're just going to keep doing this until the tank's empty. I think we've got about a... Uh, a quarter or a little bit less left in there now and then once the tank's completely empty we'll dry it off uh, and then hopefully we can uh, fix fix the fix the hole so it's the next day so update we completely emptied the tank um, last night and um, if there was any little bit of residue at the bottom we've let that drip out of, over overnight um, stuck some blue roll underneath it um, there was there was a couple of little trips throughout the night, so that's quite good. Right. So, you can see, we went over to a, a local um, car garage, and the fellas were saying the stuff that they use on car tanks is a, I can't remember what it's called, um, some al aluminium tank thing. So we've stuck that over, and then just to double make sure, I've epoxied over the top of it, uh, and. You can see the absolute mess down here where it's all dripped off. That's going to be fun when I need to move one of these wires or something at some point, but it is how it is. So I'm going to give that another half an hour to uh, just make sure the epoxy is properly hardened and then uh, I'm going to start filling the tank back up, which, fingers crossed, it all goes good. Where are we today, Jenny? <laughs> we are Tubermory Distillery because we're in Tubermory. So, we've been here uh, 24, 36 hours or so, I'm not too sure, and obviously I've been <laughs> sorting out that leakage at the back, yeah. but that's all sorted now. No more leaking diesel, so it's uh, time to explore. But because the Highland Race got here today, yeah, you can see all the mass there. Highland Race came in, we had to so we tried to go to anchor but the anchorage around here was 17 meters the only one that we could find that was close enough it was too deep for us to anchor in so we uh, grabbed a mooring ball uh, had some dinner and now uh, time to check check out the local town hey everyone uh, so I'll move that there to bit of rope out the way so double mori in the background and like usual just just peed down the whole time with there and then stopped just as we kind of tightened it up and the novice can hear that oh. someone's playing bagpipes on one of the boats there sounds amazing so i'll show you so we were in in the marina yesterday but we spent the whole time sorting out uh, the problem we had and then because the highland race came in before we decided to grab a boy down here. I tried to anchor but the water was too deep. Absolutely gorgeous here. Here's Dom the dentist. Hello. Is it is ship just going to anchor there? Right, it's chain going down. Yeah so Jen's just just, just this minute got back, Jen's just gone down below to make some 
Oh. So, Jen's uh, making some food in the minute, and I'm going to do some uh, planning. So we were thinking because of the time that Dom's got on board, we didn't know if to go south from here, go back down towards Open Ways, and then start heading over to Ireland or to head up to uh, Isle of Sky. So, we're just going to sit down with Dom in a minute and do some planning and um, see, see where that brings us and hopefully uh, some more adventures.